Hello everybody. Welcome to the episode 3 of the new video series. Today we are going to see how to use Uzi coordinators in you. Let's log in into you and open up the Uzi application. We go to the coordinator section. Here is a list of coordinator examples, but let's create a new one. So we give it a name, a description, and select the workflow we want to coordinate. Our coordinator frequency is every day. We also pick a start and end date. Coordinators have inputs and outputs. Inputs are for input data sets. Outputs are for output data paths. In our case, we only have one output, as the input is already present on the HDFS. Now we create the output. We give a name and pick a start date. Beware, the start date is UTC time. The frequency is also daily, and we use a URI template to represent the date in our Hive script. We also support date ranges, but in our case, we just need a single instance. So now, let's go attach the dataset to the workflow variable in the output section. For the advanced user, you can set constant in the workflow properties section. You can use any Uzi coordinator EL function. And that's it. Let's submit it. We see the live progress of the coordinator. Instances for each day are going to be created. You can see the, their status thanks to the color. All the various information of the coordinator is displayed on the page. You have links to coordinator, datasets, XML definition, and the live report of the logs. The app is pretty smart. Just click on the instance and we'll follow up to the workflow. From this step, it's like episode 2. You can go to the main coordinator dashboard and see all the instances. Et voilà, the data is coming up into our table. Here we go. I hope you are going to schedule many coordinators. Thank you for watching and see you at the next episode.